If it wasn't for Julia or any 911 dispatcher, I wouldn't be here today. I mean, my husband called 911 and she calmed him down and he carried through and did CPR and not having known how, she walked him through it and most of all kept him calm. 911 emergency. Hi there, my wife just, I need to send an ambulance. My wife was uh, making some weird snoring and then just kind of like seems to stop breathing. I mean, she was completely lifeless. I mean, I just started yelling her name and uh, but my wife was in cardiac arrest. Um, so after a couple of minutes of trying to revive her or get her going, I finally did call 911 and, and, uh, and Julia happened to be the person to answer the phone that day. Um, right away, he said that his wife, he woke up and his wife was making a, a snoring sound, um, which to me automatically is, get, get her on the floor, we need to start CPR. I mean, she went right to work and t told me exactly what to do, you know, get, get her onto the floor, get her onto a solid surface, you know, push her head back, and, and then she counted with me as we started, you know, as we started compressions on, on Janine's chest. It was just like, Chris, here's what we got to do, here's what you got to do, and it was, it was very, uh, deliberate, it was very precise, here's what you need to start doing. Her voice, I'll, I'll never forget it. The more stressful the call is, the more calm I am. It sounds really weird, but um, but that's when I feel that I do my best work, is when I have to act quickly, problem solve, sometimes I even close my eyes. Um, close my eyes, picture that I'm there, and what would I do? I really enjoy helping people, and especially situations like that where I can walk through with people some of the worst days of their lives. There's no doubt that there's just a ton of people to thank for, for Janine being here. But really, I mean, Julia and doing what she did that morning and just helping me is really the foundation. Because, I mean, the EMTs may have taken Janine from, you know, heart not beating to beating and then everything that happened at the hospital for the next week. But none of those people could have done what they needed to do if it weren't for someone at the end of the line that morning um, telling, telling me what I need to do, you know, to keep, to keep Janine Jean, alive. Julia will always be important, because like I said, you know, just knowing that I'm here today because of her and what she did, I mean, she'll just always, she'll be a part of our family. Be forever thankful. <laughs>